actually our first live class this year. It so is. We yep. since. So um, did you just miss us? Well, should listen, we better do the weather forecast around the country. So listen, let's tune in. Let us know where you're watching from and what's the weather like in your part of the country or your part of the world. Here in Dublin, it's an absolutely frosty, freezing, really, really cold morning. Now, today's plan is I'm going to do a dried flower arrangement with you. I was in the wholesalers yesterday and I picked up these um, twig rings. This is kind of like a grey one and kind of came in this kind of like dark brown colour. By the way, they have these up to two foot wide. If any florists are watching, um, you can just message me and I can let you know where, what wholesaler I went to. But also I got these heart ones. So I'm planning on having these for Valentine's Day. So lots of plans in my head for working with these. But this morning anyway, I'm going to work with the kind of brown twig ring. That's what I'm going to work with this morning. We'll work with the other ones over the next, with loads of time. It's only the beginning of the year. And sure, me whole, me whole marathon has us locked up for the next couple of months by the looks of it. So listen, let's keep busy. How are we getting on, dear? Yeah, we're very busy. The techno, the techno on? we're on YouTube welcome now. We're live on YouTube, YouTube again. Welcome, YouTube. Um, and the, it's bloody awful in Mulligar, the weather is. Bloody awful. Are we allowed to use the word bloody awful? Oh, off? I don't know now. I, I think we're going to start the new year that we'll do what we want to do. And we if you don't like it, go off. don't like it, feck off, move on to someone else. Exactly. With the uh, aprons back in stock, by the way, so there is models, you know, that way. Gender neutral, they do male and female, and they expand to any size. So they don't they like They fit me. They fit Deirdre as well. So listen, so Deirdre's on, you're on a big... Get fit goes, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. And um, anybody wants to order the aprons, we'll put the link in the comments below. The turntables are also back in stock. So again, the turntables come in two halves. If anybody wants a turntable, again, get in touch with us and we can organise to get a ship down to you today. Now, I'm going to do a dry flare arrangement. I actually need a turntable for the moment. Um, Ellen is watching in from as she says a baltic ockram in county wicklow and she says she's like a big child because she's normally in work when we go live on a friday right, so but she's, she's home, home now today. so brilliant, yeah she's brilliant. delighted how's it how's the homeschooling going for everybody <laughs> uh, we have a couple of prizes today and i think any the mothers with the homeschooling and the kids you'll need these highlighters for correcting their work so um let us know if you're homeschooling and she will organize to get a few um, highlighters out to you so this is a block of dry oasis, okay? Well, it's not a full block because I've already cut a third off and it's getting organized. So what you need for this arrangement is approximately a third of a block of floral foam. Any knife will do. The noise of this can drive you mad. Deirdre actually hates the feel of it. Go on. Uh, Rebecca over in um, Boutique Bloom says she needs a holiday from her kids. <laughs> That's next week's prize. <laughs> Tune in next week for that. I'm just cutting a small bit off it, and I'm also going to cut a small bit off the bottom of it. You know the way. So that's about the size or the shape, you know that I want. I'm now going to cut the four corners off it, and I'm now going to shave a little bit around the top. So I hope you watched all that. Don't forget, if you're late joining in, you can always watch this from the beginning. You can't rewind it now, but later on when we post it to the page that you can. Now, the thing about dry foam is the colour of it is a disaster. Do you see when you're making like a dry arrangement? So I was here this morning and I was saying, like, what am I going to do to camouflage it? And so do you remember our rose gold spray? So what I did was I sprayed, I had one in the oven already. So I sprayed the dry oasis rose gold because I just thought, isn't that colour going to blend in a lot better than the colour of the natural colour of the dry oasis? Um, I was looking for a dark green, but I just had like a holiday green. It was a real vibrant green. But then um, again, if you're in the wholesalers or if you're in the likes of Lidl or Aldi, the spray paints that they have, because that's all this is. This is an Oasis brand, but to be honest, any of the spray paints would have done the exact same job. So if you see a spray paint in black or brown or a dark green or a mossy color, you know the way, definitely worth investing in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut off my tags. There is a little twine here for using this as a hanger. So I'll probably leave it on for the moment. But um, whether I would actually use it, I don't know. Maybe I'll put on my own hanger. So we'll see how we go anyway. Now, another little tip for you. To get your piece of dry foam to fit onto your container, what you're going to do is a little bit of rubbing. So do you see the way I'm making a shape underneath, okay? So you're going to like rub it into the container and that will kind of like mould your flower foam. Do you see that? You sit and then going to bang that on the table to get rid of all the surplus. 
Yeah. Gail yeah. says Mr. Price has the spray paint. Fair play to you, Gail. Which, which Mr. Price? Because you know somebody's going to ask me in a moment which Mr. Price. So that's my Oasis cut and shaped ready to fit onto that container. The next thing that you need is your gutted tape, okay? You're then going to get a 20 gauge wire. Now anybody that has been with me in the bloom rooms, we normally get you to take two 20 gauge wires together at the same time. But for this one, I'm just doing a single 20 gauge wire. It's exactly the same, it's just if you're a beginner, it's a little bit more difficult because the wire is thinner. I do have a video um, in the blog, isn't it Deirdre, how to go to tape yeah, wires. I'm nearly so sure it is. Yeah, that's yeah. a beginner there, if you go to the blog page on our website, flareschoolireland.com, you can watch a little training video how to go to take the wires. We have 10 people watching us over on YouTube, you, YouTube. and I think it was TJ is watching in from New Zealand. Big, big welcome, TJ. What's the weather like in New Zealand? Oh, it's on you know it's probably roasting. It's probably <laughs> roasting. Can you see what I'm doing now to two of the 20 gauge wires is I'm twisting them together. Now I know if you've been on module three with me, the bridal floristry, I would have taught you how to tape the wires together. But what I want is a little bit of strength. You see when I pull them that they won't come apart. So that's why it's much better off twisting them together. Now what I'm going to do, and that's why that bit of twine that I have on the ring, I don't know whether it's going to get in my way, right? I'm now going to, the twisted part of the wire, I'm going to rest it on the flower foam. Just to let you know, or warn you, by the way, this is going to be a much slower class than any of the other classes that I've done before. You know the way normally I'm like Speedy Gonzales. But this is a more formal arrangement that I'm doing today, so I'm covering myself. In other words, I'm going to be fucking slow this morning. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so get yourself some tea there, right? So I'm wrapping this wire around, okay? And then I'm going to bring it to the back. I'm turning it upside down. I'm putting my two wires together, and I'm going to twist them together, right? You've just okay. got a drop-off of 200 people have just left just the live, Jeanette. The there you go. I'm going to trim off the wires, and the little bit of wire that's left over, right, is I'm going to just kind of like bend it over and stick it into the twig ring so that it won't actually scratch the wall or scratch the door. Now you know me, I'm going to course again. Yeah. I'm obviously to sure to be sure, right? So to be sure to be sure, to be feckin' well sure, is I'm going to put a second wire to see going across it because I never would trust the one wire. Another tip, oh, if I was doing this probably um, and I had more time, I'd probably plug in the glue gun. And you know when I scratched and moulded the back of that piece of dry oasis, I would have put a piece of hot glue, or cold glue would have done by the way, and then let it set, and then I would have wired it on to be sure, to be sure, to be sure. Table plans design says to be sure, to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see there, it's really, really, it's really secure onto it now. And again, the bits of wires that's left over at the back, I'm cutting them short, not cutting them in real short, and the little bit that's left over, I'm kind of like making a U-bend and sticking it back into the frame, and making a U-bend and sticking it back into the frame. And I still have the string there then, if you want to use it, it's a little bit off to one side. I can always make a new hook with a wire anyway. So that's my twig ring, ready and organised to do the dry arrangement. Now, Just Jeanette, you have actually haven't asked anybody to share, and we have over 300 people watching on Facebook. Listen, feck and share, okay? <laughs> Get out there now and feck and share, see we have 300 people. Um, you know yourself, the only way that we can kind of like advertise at the moment is, we're depending on you, um, the followers, as my husband slagged me this morning, I often do be... Um, I'm talking about the people watching the videos. Um, my husband's not into Facebook. He's probably watching this on the sly. But um, in that time, he'd, he would go in and he'd watch one of the videos, whatever. And he'd just be slagging me at home. And I'd often say, oh, some of the fans on the page, you know. And he says, do you hear her, her and her fans? She thinks she's a celebrity, you know. And so there's always great slagging going on in the house this morning. So this morning I was um, getting ready and I was blow drying my hair. And he said, you're getting all dressed up this morning. I said, yeah. I said, I'm doing a live video. I said, do I have to sit, make myself look presentable for the followers? Because I've been in a tracksuit all week, you know. He said, oh, they're followers now, he says. That's a big drop down. He says, where's all your fans gone? So listen, whether we have followers or fans, any chance I click and share and let's get the word out there. So as I said, I'm going to do a dried arrangement this morning. And it's going to be what I would call a crescent or a half moon shape. So it's a lot more formal and I have a little bit more information to give you. So I have a notebook and pen ready that you can take down some notes and a cup of tea. Because as I said, this is going to take a little bit longer. Okay, um, what's her name? Linda says, I don't know about being inspired by your flare arrangements, but I've now started wearing hair bands and it drives me mad to do that. <laughs> 
the hair bands are brilliant. So my roots are coming back up again. I was all there before Christmas, got the hair done. Your man said to me, come back the 15th to January, he said, because he said hairdressers will be back in lockdown for Patrick's weekend. And here we are, 15th to January, fecking hairdressers are closed and she, the roots are coming back again. It's a disaster. For Pity Flores on, on Instagram says, we're all your fans. Oh, thanks a million. <laughs> so the dried ones I'm going to use this morning, I have a couple of the puppy heads. You know, they think there's be opium in these. A couple of like kind of dried proteas. We have our wheats and um, another few kind of like puppy heads, whatever. And I also have a little bit of kind of like dried status, you know, that way. So we're just going to like see well, how we go. Do you know, why are we using dried flares? We're using dried flares because we've no fresh flares. <laughs> planning on doing a fresh flare arrangement but we're not getting our fresh flare delivery until Tuesday but listen we've loads planned for next week because we're going to be getting ready for our spring classes and we've two types of spring classes they're all starting the first week in February do you know start because okay you, <laughs> we can about you can talk so, about it when you're doing it so I am have two kind of pieces of wheat and I'm going to stick one in on the right hand side as I look at it one in on the left hand side down low on the twig ring coming down just to kind of give the outline of our shape and then I'm going to get a smaller piece and down low on the twig ring at the very top I'm going to cut off that piece of twine because it is annoying me and it's going to keep getting in the way so I'm going to bring this, this twig ring is a bit crooked, I'm just looking at it here anyway. I'm going to bring this one up here, just see just at the back there, just see just to start off the shape. And then I'm going to use a couple more. I always find the halfway mark is great. So if I was to go halfway between them two, and halfway between them two, I'll hold it up. You're looking at it from the back, now if you look at it from the front. So if I was to add extra ones in there, and can you see into the other space, to see the way I'm getting the outline of the arrangement. I often call this dot, 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 dot. So again, for the homeschooling mummies at home. Do you remember as kids, the way you'd have these colour books? I'm doing this on the flat because I think it's easier than trying to do it on the turntable. The twig ring would probably keep falling off the turntable on me. So do you remember as a kid, and um, or even with your own kids there at home, and we're colouring books and you join the dots. And when you join up the dots, you get the outline of the shape. Well, that's what I kind of find with these dried flowers that I'm putting in. I'll do a few and then I'll hold it up to you. What I'm hoping is that I'm actually putting in the dots, okay? They don't actually have numbers as such, right? But I'm putting in the dots, and eventually then, when you join up the dots, you'll have the outline shape of the arrangement that I'm trying to make, which is a crescent or a horseshoe sort of shape. Now, the crescent or the horseshoe would be kind of a traditional sort of shape, you know that way? And in flower arranging, there's eight traditional or geometrical shapes in flower arranging, as we call it. And I always say to the students, once you learn the eight geometrical shapes, basically you can take on the world, you know, that way. So it's like all the principles and the basics of flower arrangements. So can you see the way I'm just making the outline there? If I turn around there, can you start to see the outline of the horseshoe? And that all started off with them three first pieces of wheat I put in, the two long ones and the one at the top, and then remember the halfways, and then dot, 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 dot. So in other words, a one to two, and two to three, and three to four, and four to five, and five to six, and so on, that you're getting the dot, dot, dot outline. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a few of the um, kind of protea heads just above that row, do you know that way? So again, I'm putting in two long ones coming down on either side. They're not quite down as low as the first lot. And then I'm going to get a short one and I'm going to bring that one up at the back. I'm going to hold it up now that you can kind of start to see the outline. And again, in the halfway mark on both sides, the right and the left hand side, I'm going to put in two short ones. And I'm stepping up on the floral foam, but that gives me plenty of space in the floral foam. And you don't want all the holes joined up together, right? And I think I'll get two more in on this side, so I'm going to try one more over here. This is a little bit of, um, what would you call it, chance in your arm. <laughs> well, while you're chancing your arm there, uh, Margaret said, it's great to see you back on and still so chatty. Uh, a lot of people to be giving out that you talk too much, Jeanette. This is it. The amount of people that tell me I do talk too much, you know that way. But you know what? I'm I to say, thank God, at least they can push mute. Yeah. <laughs> My I, husband has to listen to me. And I, I have to listen as the well. has to listen to me as well. <laughs> so you can see the way again, I'm kind of following that dot, dot, dot outline there with a couple of protea heads and can you start to see our shape coming together. Now I'm going to start in the centre with a couple of, couple of the puppy heads, right? So if you've been watching me before, you always hear me talking about number one, standing up in the centre to give the height not too high. Can you see our centre one? And you'll also hear me talking about the three around, the number one, slightly lower on an angle. And this is where, again, I'm kind of working out and it's given us like the centre profile of the arrangement. You see, just to start off with. 
and then it's a little bit of a fill in, fill in, fill in. If any of my fans, followers are watching, um, I bet Tommy is probably watching there on the slide. <laughs> Probably slagging Olga Carter says the crack is 90, don't be listening to them. This is it. Hey Olga, how are you? And how is things up in Derry? Isn't yeah, it? it's Derry, yeah, London um, Derry. How's yeah. things up in Derry? How are you getting on? Are you busy? Um, how's the weddings coming on? I know she's flying with funeral work, she does absolutely fabulous. Oh, she does funeral. amazing funeral work. Yeah. And she posts them all over in the Flurry Fun Group. So, again, anybody, any of our fans and followers, like, why don't you join over on the Flurry Fun Group? Now, the Flurry Fun Group is, it's as it is, it's what its name is. It's a fun group. And it's for people that would just like to, you like, see another few ideas, interact with people that have kind of like, who like flowers themselves. It's not a commercial group. We don't give away any feedback, critique. It's not that type of group. It's not a bloom room. Um, we don't kind of talk about wholesalers or cost prices. It's really people who want to do flowers for fun. You know that way, that enjoy flowers. And you're more than, more than welcome to join us. Um, table plan design says tell them that's what the volume button is for <laughs> lick bell says fill in fill in fill in you know sandra conway or conroy yeah she's you? watching How's in there and um, somebody's asking can you tell us about the spring course oh the spring course <laughs> okay okay am i allowed to yeah you... okay i'll just hold this up and just let them see that's actually, yeah, as well. you know that way so it's it's not a shop it's a fun group and it's really it's really fun and it's really you know we working with dried years ago and I know the shops that we worked in we sold a lot of dried flowers and it was gas then all that feng shui or feng shui as we used to call it but feng shui came in and it was a big big no-no dried flowers because dried flowers are actually dead flowers and this feng shui or feng shui feng shui it was that you didn't have anything dead in your house so suddenly dried flowers talk about dying a death overnight that's actually what happened and suddenly they weren't popular anymore and it's gas there like then like towards the late summer we reckon that all the dutch suppliers now this is my um, surmise on the whole thing the dutch suppliers were left with a lot of fresh stock there last with the first March, stock there. april yeah and what they did was they dried and they dyed a lot of the material you know that way and suddenly dried flowers were back on trend again and they're absolutely flying so um i did threaten to kind of get stuck back into it and start making a couple of designs but to be honest with christmas and that we just hadn't got the time we were absolutely up to their eyes but um i do have loads and loads of ideas that i can teach you in dried flowers so if you like it and if you're interested you should just let us know below and absolutely you know me i'm more than willing if i get an audience and if you're shared now they click and share dear i think they are yeah if you're clicking share yeah. absolutely i command and teach ellen morris says fair crusades what um that can you come on at 11 o'clock every day because then he gets a break from homeschool <laughs> Going on. I think Fika deserves a, a high I think so head. too, yeah. Absolutely. So there you go, Fika. Fika, Fika. Send yeah. on your, um, get your mommy to send on your, your address and email it to us, info at flareschoolireland.com and I'm going to get one of them highlighter pens into you. So at least they And I actually have yourself. two more people here. Leanne McCabe, uh, you posted up about your homeschooling as well, so I'm going to send you out a highlighter. You're on Facebook. And Boutique Blooms, I know you were looking for a holiday away from your kids. Send us your address and we'll send your kids a little present. <laughs> um, Ashling Walsh is on. It's so bad and it's really boring. <laughs> Our homeschooling, or I don't know. <laughs> I thought you were talking about flare arrangement. Um, she probably is. She probably is. Um, um, so just again, somebody says um, the spring read course. <laughs> <laughs> the spring well, course. I'm trying to concentrate. On okay, so, the, the, so the spring, re this, we have two options. So we have a spring hobby course. So this is for all of you guys that maybe are not interested in do you want to talk now? No, 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 I'm no. not interested in commercial floristry, but you want to do an actual course. So it'll, they're more in depth, we say, than these live classes. These live classes are fast and they're fun. And this one isn't fast now. No, this well, it's a bit faster than some of them. <laughs> but um, so the hobby course is there's going to be five different designs. We're going to supply the flowers and the sundries for one of them. And um, it's three weeks in a bloom room and it's starting on the 1st of February. So 
if you're really interested in this maybe share this with somebody else or i'll post the link up later on and they might buy it for you if you're cocooning you don't have to move from your house all you have to do is open your front door and let the delivery guy deliver you the box and that will come no sterilize his hands for us um so that's one option so that's the spring wreath workshop and the other one if you don't want to go that far is or sorry that's the spring hobby course is we have a spring wreath workshop which is very similar to our christmas wreath workshop because other christmas Sweets are dead now um so at the spring re week wreath workshop Jamie, Matthew, you're this morning. <laughs> spring wreath workshop, workshop. <laughs> <laughs> is the the same week the first week of february and we send out everything for you to make your own spring wreath with a pre-recorded video it's and all that all fresh green all fresh all fresh flowers you know that way so it's completely different to the christmas one and like yesterday, actually last night, um, Margaret Dooner, if she's watching Jessica's mum, she sent me a message to say her sister, both of them had done the Christmas course and she was showing me photographs that their Christmas wreath was still on the door. My Christmas wreath is still on the door and my lights, like, you know, the little battery lights, they're still working because they come on and off, they do themselves. And I'm not taking it down yet. I'm going to leave it on until the first week in February and then I'm going to make a spring one and then I'm going to tra um, transfer it around. Kathleen wants... Like so that just looks lovely, yeah. Thanks, yeah. Deirdre. I'm now going to do a bit of... Oops, it is. A little bit of fill in, fill in, fill in and I'm going to use the dried status. Kathleen says, how about a class for the kids that might benefit them in... Actually, the spring wreath workshop would be ideal for kids. It'd be it would, yeah. the, the way we have designed, it's going to be ideal for the kids. Um, somebody's asking where would she get the wreath rings, Jeanette? Um, I'd say not wholesale. So um, Most flare shops are selling them. A lot, I know a lot of flare shops are closed at the moment. Um, do we have them for sale on the website? I'm not sure. Are them them twig have... wreaths? Oh, these wreaths. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant the Oasis rings. No, the twig rings. Um, I don't have any of these for sale. A flower shop would be your best bet. But you know the way, sometimes some of the walk around shops like Woody's or that. So listen, any any of the fans and the followers that are watching, <laughs> anybody spot any of these twig rings in any of the shops? I'm sure, I just can't think offhand. Um, just comment away there. Is Gail still watching? She's a great one for going around the shops and knowing what's going on. So can you see how I'm filling in with the status now? So the status is kind of like your greenery and that you're using it then to kind of hide the flower foam. And you can see the difference and the benefit of using the spray you remember the old aerosol spray? By using the aerosol spray on the foam before you start, it makes it so easier to camouflage it. And even though it was rose gold, it doesn't stand out as being real glittery gold and it worked in well with kind of the browns and the peaches. Yeah, and again, it just Google them online. If flower shops are selling them probably online. Amazon probably yeah. as well. Amazon is Well, depending, if you're in Ireland, Amazon is a bit it's yeah. stuck coming from England. If there's any flower shops watching there themselves and you have the twig rings, What's the girl down in Cork? Fabulous, absolute flower. Absolute Pamela, Pamela. Pamela Dillon. I know she's great for if any of the stuff that we demonstrate, she normally has it for sale. Rebecca in Boutique Blooms, have you any rings? I know you're watching on Instagram. Um, Let us know. We've Rebecca says things. thanks because I was giving her a highlighter. I'm on, I'm at the dot, dot, dot letter stage with the boys. <laughs> must be very small oh my god i don't envious i tell you i hated the homework i used to say about homework punishment for the parents you know that way so i can just thank god mine are way past that part there i would just oh, don't envy it olga says little are good for willow and twig rings yeah so again anybody if they see them in little or aldi take a photograph when you're in little or aldi post it here on the page if it's, even if it's not under these comments if it's under another one we don't mind at all and we'll make sure you say which one it was you know that way so amazon have lots of different twig rings for those who can get amazon to deliver it over on youtube okay um, so again, somebody's saying there if yeah you can post the link for us that would be brilliant if you came across them on youtube on amazon yourself post a link there like, and see that is the joy of the spring wreath courses because we supply all the yeah, stuff for them yeah it's a disaster when you just haven't got the stuff you know that way and that's what i found like a lot of people that were watching kind of here at the classes how are we going there dear? that looks I gorgeous need to look in the mirror myself just so i can see it kind of from a, from a distance yeah we're getting there another another tiny little bit there just for filling in hobby craft fiona says have some okay where are they fiona any chance post up a link or like susie said she loves the xm street course so definitely she's going to book the spring course anything to get away from homeschooling uh -oh. caroline says the range have heart ones for a fiver brilliant okay and again anybody up in the range or has any has the range got a I website think 
Oh, I don't know. So if you have, if you know any information, post it underneath there. So what I'm just doing is I'm filling in a little bit of the status, you know, kind of just in here at the back, just a little bit of kind of filling in, kind of, you know, camouflage and, and so on. As I said, it's brilliant when you have used that spray because it doesn't... Oh, Rebecca says so she'll so. see if she can get the rings up onto the site next week. So, Rebecca, when you do, so send Rebecca, us a message Blue in Blue Blue Boutique Blooms. Blooms, yeah. Okay. So when you do, Rebecca, send us the link and we'll post it up for you. And what you do, Rebecca, is put the link, even put the link to your website up there now. And again, if you She's have on like, Instagram, so do it okay, on Facebook, pop, Rebecca. Pop up to Facebook when you get a chance. But even if anybody has the dry foam for sales, because again, I understand like a lot of flower shops aren't open and it's hard to kind of get the materials. So again, if there is anybody watching and all you have to do is add it to your website, the bunches of wires, the dry foam, the gutter tape, um what else you know the way and again if you have maybe you cook it in and you could make little bunches because i've used hardly any do you know what i mean like that's what selects out uh, uh, the bunches that i had so if you had maybe a little you could make up maybe little rebecca small might bunches. have dried bunches for sale and yeah carry down in waterford like, yeah waterford dungarvan yeah i know she was making up little mixed bunches of dried and so was wayne richardson over in Fibsborough, back lane blooms he was making little bunches of mixed rice there before Christmas, so maybe he would still do that there. So just a little bit of filling in. It's a bit awkward with one hand here trying to cut it. And, you know, if we haven't called out your flower shop, go to your, ring your local flower shop because they are answering their phones, even though they're closed, and tell them, look, it, I want to make a dried thing. They will come over to our page and say what the Kays did um, and have a look and then tell you what they have. Like, they, the flower shop, shops are really struggling at the moment, so it'd be great if they got a bit of support. Absolutely. Like, support your local flower shop. You don't want when all this is over and you're saying, God, our flower shop closed down and you haven't been supporting them. Do you know that way? So give them as much support as you can. They're really struggling, especially with the Brexit and everything else that's kind of, like, going on. It's a disaster with some of the deliveries, trying to get our deliveries in from the UK because a lot of our materials come in from the UK. And again, maybe we have some Irish growers watching. They have some dry flowers. Yeah, and absolutely, dry yeah. I know there's some of our um, our own kind of um, past students of the school who actually go into like growing flowers. So maybe they have went into drying flowers. What's that girl, Alison? Oh. What's the name of her place? Fox, Fox something, and something. Fox and Bear, isn't it? Fox and Bear, I think it is. Alison, if you're watching, or again, if you know of anybody. So I think there we go. That's gorgeous, go yeah. So all we need now then is a little hanger. Now, by the way, you could pull it that way. So I'm trying to look in the mirror. So you could put it yeah, that way actually, on yeah. your door. I just need a little bit more filling in. I just, when I turned it upside down there, I could see there's a little bit of a gap. So it depends on what, what do you call that, Jeanette? Fill in, fill in, no, fill in. but a what? Cop on spot. A cop on spot. <laughs> <laughs> a cop on spot. When you see a gap, you cop on and you do fecking something about it and you hide it. You know that way? So just when I turned it upside down there, I could see kind of a few little cop on spots kind of in here. So just, just turn it around to show them where the cop on spots are. See in there, yeah. see the little cop on spots. <laughs> so a couple of small little bits there um, kind of cut up and they do for filling in. So this is, this stuff here is like the um, sea spray or the limonium and it's dried. Now again, I bought it dried, dried already, but um, again, if you had any limonium left over at home yourself, any of the students, we've used it on module two and we've used it on module three. Do we still have the jig that we, oh, um, we? I think it's, it's in the other nice, room yeah. is, yeah. Um, like again, it's great for filling in and kind of like hiding any little spots and just sticking a few little dry. Jericho Scadden was on earlier on and she's like, she says, I'm watching, but she says, I'm in work. And now she's back on. She says, I had to sign out. The boss came in. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, Jer. How are you? How's life? Hope you had a lovely Christmas. It was great seeing all the stuff that great they did, uh, response to the dried they're actually loving the dried in yeah, fairness so now i've got a hidden me cup on spot in case you decide to hang it that way on the door and you could put a bow on it i'm not going to put a bow on it but i think it's fancy enough for that bow yeah and again you see i put off the twine at the back but again you could always catch something in through the wires there you could use the i'm wires getting a new hook. front door today i might bring it home and take oh, a photograph yeah, on yeah, my front door. The door again my dear has a bit of a porch it would be fine like you wouldn't hang it outdoors um on the door because when it get, once it gets wet the dry will all hydrate again it'll all kind of go soggy and messy and saying that it probably lasts as long as a fresh wreath on the door do you know that way but normally this would be more for kind of like for indoors like a dry flare arrangement so hopefully you've enjoyed that. Um, do you have any questions? No, uh, Siobhan is on. They're sharing. Siobhan is on. She says it's beautiful. Love and hugs. Oh, thanks a million. Vanessa says that's beautiful. She loves the colours of it. 
Um, who else? And I will do something completely different um, using the twig rings again, but using a completely different design, and I will, will use them hearts for Christmas. And I know we've had a chocolate company on to us. Um, oh, that's it's right. we've worked with before, and he's going to send us out some chocolates to give away as prizes, so we have that coming up. And I know Spicy Bee was on to me the other day. You know me, well, actually, this hairband is from, I don't know how you pronounce the place, um, Sparkleteer. Sparkle at here or something like that. Yeah. On Instagram they are anyway. Um but Spicy B was on and I think she has some lovely earrings that she's going to send out. All right. Um, to, to do as a giveaway. So listen, we should have some something different. How's the um homeschooling going? Did Homeschool you know? yeah, no. Any no. kids watching want a highlighter to do their Can you share homework? a couple of close ups of it? I'll take photographs of it all and I'll stick them up, but there you go. That's as close as you can sort of yeah, get there it on the camera. There you go. That's a bit underneath there. That's like the back. There's a little bit of filling in there. I'll do that. I could probably do. You know that way. But again, just to kind of show you the mechanics of it. So I'll take a photograph close up and I'll post it on the page. And um, again, any questions, you just post them below. So thanks to me and everybody for joining in. Again, make sure that you click share. Anybody that sent us on their address, I'll get the highlighter um, markers out to you. I'll put the link in the comments below for the aprons and the turntables. And we'll also put the link below for the spring wreath workshop and the spring flower arranging workshop. They're two completely different workshops. For both of them, we post that kit here. And um, they're both starting the first week of February. And it is possible to be joined up to both of them. You know, the, way, the two separate kits they are, but the two completely separate courses. What, what you learn on one, you don't cover on the other. So it's an ideal, um, I was going to say Christmas gift. It's an ideal gift to give to maybe your mum that's... Um, staying at home quarantine at home cocooning cocooning whatever or again anybody that's just bored out of their nelly <laughs> and should just shops have stopped selling the drink yeah <laughs> <laughs> but listen if you're looking for something to do give up the drink and she'll take up the just very last one yeah. um dara is on from sligo and he said that the weather is shite the weather is shite down in sligo is it did jackie tell you to say that dara <laughs> big big hello to dara he's one one of my favorite nephews but he's definitely my favorite nephew in Sligo he is so hope you're helping your uncle Liam there and um his uncle Liam kept busy there minding all his cows listen best of luck everybody talk to you all very soon and we'll definitely be on next Friday again 11 o'clock for another live class see you then